Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to have a look at the if statement and how you can use an if statement to work out a bonus. So what I've got on the screen, as you can see, are some sales figures and whether a person makes a bonus or gets a bonus or not. So this cell B1 is the cell where I've got a target figure of £25,000. So if these sales are over or equal to 25,000, I want this to say bonus. And if they get the bonus, I want a 10% bonus on the difference between what they've made and the target. So basically they're not getting a bonus on the first 25,000 pounds, but anything over that, they will get a bonus. So you can see there's a thousand pounds over the target there and they get, they're going to get 100 pounds. So if I just recreate this, little spreadsheet below I'll just copy those cells down paste them there and I'll just bring my target down as well so it's in the same line and let's just bring all this information down as well might as well so we've got all that sales information just copy that down with the control key and we're ready to go and I'll change the figures somewhat on this one let's just give these a bigger amount so we're going to use an if statement to work out whether they get a bonus or not and then I'm going to colour it red or green depending on whether it says bonus or not. So the first thing I want to do is type equals if and then open a bracket. So this is the if function and when you see the if function you can see the bold on the help underneath there is on the bit that says logical test. So the log logical test for us is, is this cell greater than or equal to, so greater than or and equal to, this sales cell. Now at the moment that says B9, but I'm going to name that cell as target in a minute, but I'll just do the formula like this first of all. So then you need a comma and it moves along to the value if true. Now I want it to say bonus if it's true and not bonus if it's false. So in a basic if statement you've got a, tr a test which is what we've just done there, then a comma what do you want it to do if that test is true? And then another comma, what do you want to do if that test is false? So I want this to say bonus. So if you want it to say a word, you have to put it inside quotes like that, double quotes. Now I want my comma, and then I put in quotes the other bit, no bonus. Make sure you close the quotes, close the bracket, and then click the tick. So it says no bonus. If I change that figure to 26,000, that should go the other way and say bonus, which is exactly what I want to do. Now, the problem with this formula at the minute is if I pull this down, part of it will work, but part of it won't work because it's now saying bonus on every single cell, which can't be right. And the reason it's saying that is because this cell is now looking at B10. B10 is blank. So what I have to do is lock this B9, and you do that with the dollar signs, so you can press the F4 key once you've clicked into the cell reference, F4, and then tick, and then now if I pull that down, it should give me the other results, which is now correct. The other way of doing that, without worrying about dollar signs, would be to name this cell, so I'm just going to click in this cell, and then this is a name box. If I type target, it's not case sensitive, so you can just type it however you want, but you must press enter, not click away with the mouse. I can then use that word target in the formula instead of this B9 with dollar signs. I can actually just put target in there. You see it recognizes that as a name with this little symbol underneath. If I tick that formula and then get my little black cross and double click it down, I still get the same results, but now I've got the word target instead of dollar sign B9. And I don't need to dollar sign at all because by doing that, making that a name, I've made it absolute, so I don't need to do dollar signs. Now, what I want to do here is I want to work out how much they're due to get another if statement. So let's start this off again. So equals if, open bracket. So if this cell says bonus, so if that equals bonus, so I've got to do it in the quotes again. I don't need to do it. It's not case sensitive, but I just like that because it looks better. If that's true, comma, I want, I need to open brackets because I want this to go first. I want this cell minus the target cell 
to happen first and then whatever the result of that is I want to get 10% of it so I'm doing times 10% and you can type it like that if that's not true i.e. they haven't got a bonus I want that just to show a zero and then I can close the bracket and click the tick now E10 is right D10 um, minus target that would be okay as well so I can pull that down I'm just checking whether I need to dollar sign anything so let's just try that tick 100 pound double click this down format it to pounds so where it says bonus it should be doing the 10% on the difference so there's 1000 pound difference and 10% of 1000 pound in my head is 100 which is correct so that's working correct if I do a figure less than that it doesn't give a bonus now on this one I've got conditional formatting on this this area so I'll just do that conditional formatting manage rules and I want new rule so format only cells that contain so if this is equal to bonus I want this to format green fill green okay okay to that and then the second one is new rule if it is equal to it's equal to no bonus I want it to format red so no bonus format red okay 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 and then you get the colors so if I change that back to something over the bonus target that goes green again and then you get the, the figure in there so that's a very quick look at a basic if uh, how you can use it to work out a bonus and how you can use another if statement to work out a, a bonus amount so hopefully that was of use to you and i thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one